of, of Orwell in 1984, where he writes, war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength, and especially the last phrase uh, stuck uh, in my mind. So, colleagues, don't fall into that trap, and especially if the temptation is to gang up on the right side of the political spectrum, don't fall for the temptation if that means it forces you to deny the facts. Um, Dutch politics were mentioned. Uh, the Christian Democrats in the Netherlands at some point tried to set up a cooperation with the extreme right. They're still recovering from it. They won't do it again. They learned that, but they're still trying to recover from it. You know, it's dangerous if you think you can invite the Vox into the coop, chicken scoop, and expect that then the fox will turn into a vegetarian. I would not take that risk. Um, in the end, employment. And I want to take that point seriously. This is about creating future sustainable jobs for Europeans. This, there are more jobs in the energy transition in the new economy than in the old economy. Don't sell the people the fallacy that by tying them to the past, you offer them a future. What would we have done at a time when the combustion engine was invented and we said, oh no, we can't have that. We need horse and carriage because otherwise too many grooms will lose their jobs. Would that have slowed down the introduction of combustion engines? No. I was in China recently. One of every second car sold in China now is electric and they're making better and better electric cars. The car industry for Europe is an essential element of our industry, an essential element of our economy. But to be vibrant in the future, it has to see that the Chinese and the Americans and others are moving really quickly to electric mobility. And our car manufacturers know this. There are so many jobs in wind turbine building, in heat pump building, in solar uh, panel building, in installing them, et cetera, et cetera. All the facts, if you want to follow the facts, point to more jobs in the new economy. But, and there we have to have a discussion here in the parliament, how do people who have the old jobs today go to the new jobs of tomorrow? They need to be skilled, they need to be reskilled. That's a tremendous effort. And why don't we concentrate our collective political force into this, into where, how we get Europe's workers of today into the jobs of tomorrow? That is, for me, what is being a social democrat. Social democrats look to the future, knowing the past, because you can't find the future without knowing the past. You have to live with the past, but not in the past. We have to be good ancestors, and for that, we have to create the jobs of the future. Thank you. Uh,